Hey Lord Sharding here and I'm going to show you how to work with the electrolyzer from Industrial Craft 2 and how to build it. Now first over here we got a big solar array. Uh, this is the new way uh, of working it in Industrial Craft 2. Uh, view one of my vids videos to see how it works. Over here we got four electrolyzers and one MFE receiving power from the solar array. Now first, how it works. So over here we got some water cells. And when the MFE has enough power in it, it doesn't have to be full. It starts uh, yeah, putting power into these uh, water cells. So first thing to do the electrolyzer, this is kind of the loading bar to make an electrolyzed water cell. Now it costs 15k EU to uh, electrolyze one. And if you want to uh, give the power back, it uh, has 13.5k energy, so you lose 1.5 EUs, but you do gain a lot of storage, and it doesn't cost any diamonds because the MFE costs now four uh, diamonds, and if you want to make a MFSU, it costs a MFE, so that's four diamonds and six more, so that's ten diamonds to make uh, a MFSU. So this is about um, if you have 64 electrolyzed water cells. This is about um, about 800 over 800,000 uh, energy storage, and it's pretty cheap. Now, how to make the thing? So first, you make some uh, copper cables. Then you make a electronic circuit. Still the same recipe. Right next, you're going to need a machine block. Still the same recipe, and something new is you can get your refined iron back. All right next, we are going to need. Oh yeah, we're going to need empty cells. It's a very cheap recipe. You get 16 empty cells from just 4 tin that's a lot so let's make some more it's a stack of empty cells for just 16 tin that's very cheap now next we are going to need the electrolyzer it's a very easy recipe you can see the electrolyzer yeah, another thing about the uh, electrolyzer, um, it receives and outputs energy wherever, so it doesn't, like over here, it doesn't have to be at this output, at the output, as you can see, it can just go at any side, it's very useful, it's like uh, extra storage. Now next we're going to need a bucket, you can craft that with tin, now what you do is get some water, empty cell water it takes a long time to do this so I'm just going to do this with one cell so what you do you just put it next to a thing like these MFE you put the just in the left as you can see these two are the slots not these two then this should go red when this one has enough energy doesn't um, if you put like one battery in it one RE battery it isn't enough to charge it so what you're going to need is yeah drop some crystals in there till, until it has enough energy and then it starts charging and when you have low energy in the MFE, MFSU or bat box what you do is let's say you have some um, electrolyzed energy cell water cells in there Let's just look for some uh, over here so what happens they become water cells again as you can see goes left to right all the time it's like huge cheap storage it costs some energy but it's very useful as you can see it keeps getting energy so this was Lord Shining 
and the electrolyzer, bye.